Good morning to all of you. Good morning. You have heard about the furniture sector as well as pulp and paper industry. I'm going to the other value addition through wood itself for plywood and panel industry in India. Current scenario and key issues. So to start with, I'll just give a brief introduction about my institute. I'm Sujata from Indian Plywood Industries Research and Training Institute. We are dealing the conservation of natural forests through efficient utilization of wood resources and developing technologies for wood alternates and backup products using wood and trees outside forest. In addition to that, we also cover bamboo, agro waste, forest or wood residues and also the industrial waste. I think it's audible, my voice is audible. The mandate of our institute is research, they are training, testing, standardization, and extension activities to promote use of wood and wood composites, which are considered far better for environment than renewable materials, steel, that is non-renewable materials like steel, concrete, plastic, etc. To just throw light about the major wood-based industries. See, the major wood-based industries are categorized into two, the mechanical wood industries, where from morning you have come across housing, construction, packaging, furniture, and craft sectors. Pulp and paper is one of the major sector, and which why we'll be dealing with the composite panel industries. Under composite panel industries, we have three categories. One is MDF, which is medium density fiber board. The most dominant in India is the plywood, which is made from the log timber, timber which is peeled to thin slices called veneers. Those veneers are glued with suitable adhesives for various, and the glues also varies depending on the end use applications, interior, exterior, or for shuttering marine. Based on the end use applications, the adhesives will be selected for all these composite panel products. And the third category is the particle board, which is made from wood chips. The role of what we Iperity is dealing is the multidimensional role of national significance, conservation of forest, panel industry development, export promotion, MSME promotion, skill development, product standardization, green building materials. I'll just throw light about the green building materials as I come across the other slides. Utilization of bamboo and agro resources. When we talk about wood-based panels industry in India, the market size of the wood-based panel industries in India is up greater than 28,000 crores per annum with a CAGR of 10 to 12 percent, mainly due to the demand from real estate and the furnitures. And this industry is very highly fragmented, scattered and unorganized. Say in India, although I say 28,000 crores per annum is the market size, there may be more than 3,500 industries. Of these 3,500 industries, even today, 70% are under unorganized sector. Only 30% are under organized. And uh, most of the industries are sourcing 90% of uh, raw material from trees outside forest. I think from morning we were listening, whether people are sourcing timber from forest departments and other things. Today, what yeah, most of the panel industries are doing is they try to evolve their own plantation by having linkages with the farmers also. So that they try to utilize only the agri wood or the agroforestry wood. They are not dependent on the forest timber. Okay. And these panel products are for mass communication used extensively in the housing and furniture manufacturing mostly catering to the lower and middle income segments. Uh, this industry, panel industry actually provides direct employment to more than 1 million people and almost equal number of people is employed indirectly in rural India. Here when I refer that 70% are organized, uh, in 2010, 90% of the industry, panel industry were unorganized. So after 10 years today, at least we see to that there is some improvement that 70% uh, are under unorganized, so remaining 20% have come under the organized sector. So this would be more uh, 
economical in case if we can make the 70% unorganized sector to at least 40%, there will be, see what happens is this unorganized sectors, they don't look upon the quality of the products. So they just uh, make the products based on the demand and supply. They don't have any uh, follow up of the national standards or the regulatory bodies. So what happens is some of the unorganized sectors, no, they will be wasting the raw material also. When durability of the quality is not maintained, the dumping period is very fast. Uh, so what happens? We will uh, the, will be leading to pollution also. When we talk about the wood processing technologies, we come under development of composites, categories which we have as plywood, we have block boards, Lumber core, laminated veneer lumber, particle or chip boards, fiber boards. And uh, Ipiriti has extensively worked on bamboo composite also, and we are categorized as center of excellence for bamboo developmental activities. So under bamboo composite, we have tried to develop mat based composites, bamboo mat based, which is woven from the bamboo slivers, strip based composites, the Sticks which are made from bamboo, from the round bamboo and bamboo lumber also, where from, from uh, pulp and paper industry, last speaker sir was referring that the silica layer is obstructing the paper quality. So even in panel products also, this problem continues. In especially in bamboo lumber, to overcome the issue of this outer, see the silica layer is not present throughout the bamboo. Most of you would have seen bamboo, the outer structure is greenish. Actually, that greenish outer structure we call as epidermal layer, and that particular layer is very rich in silica. So, what we try to do for strip based and mat based product is that particular epidermal layer is removed. So, when they try to remove, the yield comes low. To improve the yield of the product and economize the cost, the bamboo lumber is made using the outer. Uh, epidermal layer also, but it is crushed. So when they crush to some extent, the silica in powder form gets dissolved and it is removed. And the other aspect which for uh, Ipirit is recognized more is agroforest residues based composites. At Ipirit, we have tried to utilize all the kind of agricultural and crop residues that are dumped in, uh, grown in India like rice, rice straw, wheat straw, pine needle, casuarina needle. So using all these agro residues, we have tried to develop both particle board as well as medium density fiber board. Coming to the market of panel industry. So here if you see the market size of plywood, it is almost 10 million meter cube. Particle board is 2.25 million meter cube and medium density fiber board is 1.15 million meter cube. The market share of plywood is 75%, particle board 16% and MDF is 9%. This is the market share what is uh, in India. But if you look into the international countries, it is just the reverse. 75% of market share in the other countries is by medium density fiber board. But in India, still people have the belief that plywood only is quite durable and uh, they go to prefer only the, the demand for plywood only is higher. Okay, But gradually, see the today's trend is people do not want to keep their furnitures for more than four years, five years. They want to keep renovating with the new additions a new kind of design. So gradually as the years are passing, people are also trying to focus their attention to use medium density fiber board. Why this uh, trend is, if they use a medium density fiber board or plywood products, MDF product can um, will withstand only for four to five years. The durability wise, it is very less. So the preference in India, as I told you, why 75% people will choose only the plywood is, some of them have the opinion that they have to keep the furniture for 15, 20 years, which was being followed up to last 10 years or something. Now, gradually as they change, the, even the market share, which is medium density of 9%, gradually will pick up to 15 to 20%. So, yeah. 
here in india as i told you plywood is the most significant product and in the last five years the segment has witnessed about six to seven percent of cagr rate the you know, i just don't want to repeat again the market demand of wood if you look into the chart in the year 2000 the demand was 58 million meter cube whereas in 2020 it has come to about 153 million meter cube and today it is uh, I, by 2030 the ITO report 2021 has stated that there will be a demand of 260 million meter cube and uh, as from morning you have listened all the speakers when our uh, requirement is the demand is increasing obviously we will have scarcity of the raw materials also because anywhere whether it is a timber from agricultural wood or forest or whatever you try to use the area is fixed for us you cannot grow more than that only thing is your rotational period can be changed where you can meet the demand of that timber so accordingly this trees outside forest rotational period or the species which can achieve the requisite girth within shorter duration or always being sourced by the panel industry driving force why this there is a lot of increasing in the you know, wood demand is the increase in population if you look into sorry 390 million was the population in 1950 and today uh, in 2022 it is about 1.4 billion okay so as the population increases the requirement is also increasing availability of income among the growing middle classes greater exposure and suitable credit facilities so everyone are having some money to spend for the luxurious aesthetic appearance so the demand is increasing is what is being reported in most of the survey reports and one more is the increasing urbanization in the country employment prospects in cities the rising income levels and the growing trend of nuclear families so this is one which all of us would have seen in earlier days there used to be joint family so the demand for those if three to four families are together the furniture requirement or the sector uh, housing sector's requirement will be very less today everyone is going for a nuclear family so the demand of the panel products or construction whatever we look into furniture will have uh, the that also keeps in proportionally increase roughly 33 percent of the overall population in india is settled in urban areas and this is increasing day by day and one more is the re reduction in the renovation cycle urban consumer now prefers to renovate the residential facility once every eight to ten years these are some of the factors which we come across in our daily life itself okay. coming to the panel products what uh, we try to do using wood from trees outside for us there was a question actually sir was uh, Bharti sir had put across what are the species which are being uh, used in India for uh, making the uh, furniture and other thing. See here in panel sectors, people in North India use only eucalyptus, popla. Maximum of the panel industries are utilizing only these two species. And this is also well developed under tree outside forest under some agency Vimco was dominant in promoting this clonal technology for uh, eucalyptus and popla whereas in south india it is the reverse because here people are preferring the species called silver oak gravilia robusta rubber wood and from last eight years milia dubia malabar name is also being promoted these are the common species which are mostly being used in the panel industry for all kind of composite, whether it is plywood, particle board, medium density fiber board, or for flush doors also. And uh, as we see, when we have studied about the species utilization from the panel industry, the greater concern was given to the Malabar named Milia Dubia, where uh, the, in the southern region, the one of the industry owns fly from Mysore, no? They directly had uh, interaction with many farmers in the Mysore region and they tried to promote this Milia Dubia species. So, through this 
integration, no, they were able to grow the, receive the raw materials to the requisite quantity from their plantation activities. And also this farmers saw huge success in their economy. Certain videos have also been covered, which we will be showing you. See this, uh, I'll just throw some light about the products which have been, which can be made using the tree, uh, timbers which are sourced from outside for us. From Epirity, we have developed uh, complex with colored vineyards for special applications. Here in the bottom slide, you can see some knitting needles. See, these all were import substitution actually. Maximum, the, there is one industry in the Jaipur region wherein this knitting needles was being sourced from US only. Okay, there were no other industries. And later due to fire accident, that industry was closed. So in India, this one of the person was interacting. He tried to evolve this technology in India and he has been successful and uh, to get the same kind of quality parameters as which was manufactured in US and they are the leading exporters today for US, Europe and other countries uh, with the name Knit Pro. I think even many of you can find even on the net by the name Knit Pro, this knitting needles, which is high value addition of the timber products is being made. And uh, we can also make some flexible plywood depending on the architectural design where earlier there was a concept that plywood cannot be bent to any requisite shape. So today the technology is so advanced that plywood of 8 mm, 12 mm can also be made to be flexible to any kind of desired shapes. Okay. And laminated vinyl lumber, which goes for construction purpose, is also being developed. If it is major contribution, as I told you, rises particle board, I've just given some pictures. Rice's particle board is the rice straw, medium density fiber board, wheat straw particle board, and even wheat straw medium density fiber board can be made. These all actually, when you try to utilize this agro forest residues, we know that in Delhi, there is a lot of issues about pollution because the paddy straw, after filling, they are just burning it. So what happens is there is a lot of volatile toxic gases that are getting released. So there are issues with the burning of this crop residues. And uh, now even the government is taking initiatives that they have to promote some entrepreneurs to utilize this paddy instead of burning. This paddy straw should be cut and given to the industry so that they convert to any composite products. Coming to the bamboo related technologies. Madam was referring, I think uh, there are a lot of bamboo. See, all kind of bamboo species which are available cannot be used for the same kind of applications. Like pulp and paper industry, they require only the cellulose part of the things. Okay, so they have particular species. So when we have tried to make the other kind of value additions for uh, paneling, partitions, or door, we have seen to that the bamboo, fill, although it is a fast growing. Uh, plant three to four years you can uh, the growth period is seen but here we have to utilize the bamboo of four years only based on the technology which have been developed it is seen that after four and a half years period the bamboo property starts degrading okay so you will have a limitation that three to four and a half years is the period uh, age of bamboo that can be sourced from converting into any kind of panel composites which will be durable for various end use applications and one more by default anywhere if you are using bamboo for value addition treatment is mandatory a bamboo cannot be used without treatment at least a small prophylactic treatment with boric acid borax has to be given Otherwise, as you store, you can see powder formation. Okay, so uh, even if you buy a bamboo and just put it on the ground and leave it for some period, within some course of time, due to the presence of starch, it starts powdering. So wherever we talk about bamboo, by default, bamboo should be treated with some kind of preservative chemicals. This is for strip base for furniture sectors, flooring tiles also we have developed. 
and this pure man we have tried to utilize melocona basifera dendrocolema strictus oclandra travancorica this is a read from kerala uh, some region maximum then uh, melocona basifera then uh, bambusa newtons is there dendrocolema strictus most widely found in many parts of the country then uh, for construction purpose we use bambusa balcova columns so depending on the application uh, bambusa balcova is not for mat, uh, the composite products it is for the columns whereas this uh, bambusa newtons Bam uh, dendrocolema semiltoni all these are for composite products about 11 species have been studied if you require any the list of species, we'll definitely be able to provide. This is for steel phase. And this is the bamboo lumber where I said even the outer layer need not be discarded. They get a better heat. This is a technology. Actually, initially, this technology was developed in China and it has got very huge demand. They're using for decking purposes and all. So gradually, uh, from last six years, one unit in uh, Tripura is also manufacturing this and it is fully supported even by the government. We can see a lot of uh, this bamboo lumber products in Agartala airport. I have seen almost in Assam region. Also, there are uh, many products being exposed in the government uh, building section. Apart from the composite, Epirity is also involved in designing and uh, uh, giving technology for bamboo based housing system. Like we have uh, prefabricated housing using bamboo. Then for resorts and other place, uh, the hotels, like we have the raised structures of bamboo wood shelter. Then uh, Epirity Trada housing technology is using bamboo strip cement with a grid structure, it is actually. The third house that actually on the right side, huh? it was designed for the minister in Delhi, in their campus, it's a, a Dr. Ashwavardhan sir who was the then Ministry of for, uh, Forestry and uh, Environment and Forest. No? For him, actually, this put, particular structure was put up. So these kind of structures we are supporting to many government forest department also, wherever it is required, no? shelters are being put up. And in addition, the durability of these houses have also been studied at various climatic zones. When the technology was developed, houses were put up in high humid zone, Assam, in Tripura, Agartala, Horisa. So at various zones where we put up, we have seen pretty at pretty also from last 22 years, we have these structures intact. In case if you happen to visit, you will find all these structures. Only thing is, every five to six years, the roofing has to be given, once has to be taken care of with some maintenance activity. Otherwise, the product remains intact without deteriorations. Okay. So, we are typically, we are also engaged in developing eco-friendly adhesives. As you know, today there is a lot of global concern that there should not be much emission from the products, the kind of adhesive you use. And even if you are residing in the house, people start complaining that when they are making furnitures, you have a lot of irritation in the nose, eyes burning. This all is due to the kind of adhesives or chemicals which are used to bond this panel products, irrespective of whether it is plywood, particle board, or beer. So we try to evolve the technology of adhesives where you comply to the E0, E1 emission level. I think morning also one of the speaker was referring the global concern today is the emission criteria, which I will be dealing with across here also. So we have also tried to develop certain products using tetra pack waste. This is the beverages tetra packs which you drink and you just throw out, right? So that tetra pack waste have also been converted into some composites uh, here. This is a transparent wood technology. See, value addition from timber can be of various sources. Today, actually, whatever glasses you are seeing in front, such kind of glass, the structure, the transparency is achieved through the wood also. That is called transparent wood. Even IWSD has explored some activities. We have also developed uh, this transparent wood. Epirity has obtained about 11 patents. 
And as I told you in the initial stage, today everyone are targeting towards the medium density fiber board. So presently what is happening, the challenges is plywood will lose 35% of its total market share to MDF and particle board and 15% of plywood market while particle board will capture about 